Hey, what's going on, guys? We are talking about Morbius all over the place. We've talked about it on Three Up, Three Down. We've talked about the trailer. We've talked about Morbius on the Bolo Show. But we're about to give you five back issues to be on the lookout for. And it starts right now. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Brian and Jack with Simple Man's Comics. We do a lot of comic and pop culture related content on this channel. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. We are here today to talk to you about five Morbius back issue books that you should have in your collection. These aren't exactly dollar bin books, but these are some of those big books, especially if you're looking at that Morbius character that you want to look for, especially they could find in back issue bins, but either way, get them in your collection. And we're going to start with number five, and that's Marvel premiere number 28. And what's so important about this one, Jack? Well, Brian, this is the very first appearance of the Legion of Monsters. Um, this has been a cult popular book for some time. It's popular with Morbius collectors, but it's really popular with horror collectors in general. It kind of is Marvel's take on that classic Universal Monsters team that kind of comes together. And with the casting of Tyrese Gibson as Simon Strode for the movie, um, there's already speculation. Well, if we've got Werewolf by Night, will we have other... Um, incarnations of uh, these characters from from the Legion of Monsters um, and, or yeah werewolf by night or man wolf um, will we get more going forward in the future and is this just the beginning making this book a kind of a key book from speculative terms going forward with this movie franchise then the next book we're talking about in that number four spot is adventures into fear number 20. Right, and Brian, now Morbius has kind of an interesting backstory as a character in Marvel Comics Publishing. He has a lot of firsts. Now, I don't mean first appearances. We have plenty of characters like that, but there's a lot of arguments over first appearance. It's pretty clear with Morbius, but he has a lot of firsts along the way, and this is a prime example. This is the first solo Morbius title, Morbius book. This story, um, Adventures into Fear was like an anthology series where they would follow a certain character for a few issues. Uh, starting with issue 20, it became about Morbius the Living Vampire, um, and he got kind of uh, his own book with title and trade dress and all of that. So this will always be viewed as a key for Morbius collectors, and that's why it lands on the top five Morbius books. Right. How do you find, have you found this book a lot when, when you go out looking for it at cons or you, you you do see it. Um, the key is it hasn't traditionally been a wall book. It's been in those bins on the tables. Um, it is a key. Dealers are aware of it. But I think that there's more wiggle room in this book than some of the other books on the list. Then coming at number three, we have Vampire Tales number one. So if the last one was the first book, this one is what? The first solo story, correct? Right. This is the first time somebody tells a story uh, in and of itself, beginning, middle, end about Morbius. Um, Morbius obviously debuted in somebody else's book. So this was the first time that a writer kind of took on the character and wrote a story where it was Morbius centric. Now, Vampire Tales is already kind of a tough to find series. This is a magazine size series. So you gotta hit those magazine boxes when you're at the LCS and when you're at your local conventions. It's essential. There's so many good books from Vampire Tales to Foom, to epic to everything in between so definitely check out those boxes um and there's some other cool vampire tales morbius centric books but number one is the one to be on the lookout for as it tells that first solo story and is on the rise yeah full disclosure i'm not a big morbius fan doesn't you really move the needle for me but what i do like is with that trailer i think jared letter is going to play a great role probably make a bigger morbius fan out of me than i am now but because of that it's got collectors going back and looking at some of these vintage books that they were aware of, but like you said, yeah, aren't wall books, but they're starting to get that attention. I think it's only a matter of time. This convention season coming up, you might start seeing some of these books outside of those boxes and being displayed. I would expect to. I think all of these books that we're going to talk about, except number one, would probably be keys, but not wall book keys. And I think that coming next summer, we're going to see a change in that. Then coming in on our number two spot is That Amazing Spider-Man 102. That's right. Now, before you jump all over Brian, telling him that he made a mistake, telling him that's not the right issue, understand what we're talking about here. We're talking about number two on the list. So we're not talking about that book yet. We are talking about ASM 102. And why? 
Second appearances used to be a big deal, right? They used to be a major thing in the market. Collectors wanted the first appearance and then they wanted the second appearance. I think the death of the second appearance is largely due to the whole cameo first full appearance debate because essentially it makes one of those a second appearance and it has kind of registered second appearances null and void. Why is this important though, Brian? It's important for its origin story mostly. It is the second appearance of Morbius, but it is the origin of Morbius. And it's the origin that we're going to end up see playing out in this movie this summer on July 31st, starring Jared Leto. And every time that one of these movies comes up with a new character, right? A character that hasn't been shown in movie form before. So many of the novices, the new, or the, maybe somebody like you, who you're not a novice in the game, but Morbius is not your character. Um, these origin books are very, very appealing to that type of crowd. They tend to spike in price. And, you know, while everyone's chasing that other issue, you can still find a good deal on this one. But if you look on eBay, you're seeing major sales trends onward and upward with this issue. I think the word is out. People want this book. So be sure to hit those ASM back issue bins when you're at your local LCS and convention. Yeah, I think second appearance is a great trend. You see a lot of collectors go after those second appearances. There's some people out there that have a huge spot of their collection just for second appearances. Yeah. But I think it's great also because especially as you see these first appearances rise to get out of people's reach, the natural thing is for someone to go for that next tangible thing that they can get or they can afford. So a lot of times, not only is this a second appearance, but like you said, this is an origin story. So this is a great issue to be picking up. And then coming in at number one on the list, is Amazing Spider-Man 101. <laughs> What's the big deal about this one, Jack? You know, something small, just the first appearance of Morbius. But, you know, we're going to we're gonna talk about a lot of Morbius books between now and July 31st. Um, we're going to talk about, we have a five video series planned. We're going to talk about everything from dollar bin books to the keys of the keys. And this is the key of the key. This is the Morbius book. That's why it lands in the number one spot on the top five Morbius books to get. Um, obviously first appearances are the most desired in the collectible market. They kind of always have been, seems like they always will be. Um, they have certainly overtaken number one issues as the most kind of heavily focused collector item. So it, it's not a surprise at all that as soon as this movie got announced, this book spiked and then it kind of dropped back to a consistent pricing. And then we started to see these spikes come back as the trailer, um, launched and it, the prices for this book i think are just going to keep going onward and upward now it's a asm book it's an amazing spider-man so there is plenty out there at the same point brian i think this is a perfect first appearance and i'll tell you why it's a perfect first appearance because it features the character on the cover it's a popular title that people already chase and collect so people are already buying asm regardless of morbius just for their runs just for their spider-man collection um and now you have to compete with all of those people um, who maybe they were waiting to get that Morbius book because they felt like you about Morbius. Eh, take it or leave it. I'll get it later. Now you better get it now or it's going to spike. Um, and that's going to cause even more of the supply to dry up. And finally, you know, you don't have any questions about the first appearance. There's no debate about a Hulk 180, 181. So many of these characters, whether it's Hulk 180, 181, um, ASM 299 versus ASM 300 for Venom, you know what the key is? 299 and 180, while unquestionably is the first time that those specific characters appear. They don't appear on the cover, and fans love that cover appearance. ASM 101 is one of those classic covers. It features Morbius right there on the cover. Um, this is his kind of first incarnation into the Marvel Universe as a villain in the Spider-Man series. Something he remains throughout comics, but he also kind of becomes sort of an anti-hero as well. Um, and you know, that kind of progression happens over time. But this is where it all started. This is the creme de la creme. If this book is out of your price range, something to be on the lookout for is there is a second print. It is a silver cover. It was released some years later in the early 90s. So that's why it's easier to find in good shape. Um, a, a, it's actually, though, in a way, the third print, because the book was printed prior to the second print coming out in Marvel Tales 252, which I think is a very unique reprinting of ASM 101. Totally under the radar. People aren't talking about it. Book regularly sells for 3 to $5. You can find this in back issue bins, and it has a new cover, so a completely different cover. You get the six-armed Spider-Man and Morbius on the cover. 
uh, very Morbius centric cover uh, and a book to be on the lookout for when you're in those bins because I think that book has a good chance of spiking. I think people aren't aware of the fact that Marvel Tales, the entire series is a reprint series and there's a lot of good reprints within that series. So there it is, guys. Those are five Morbius back issues to be on the lookout for to add to your collection right now. Yes, that is a popular character. People are well aware of it. Those books are continuing to rise. But if you're on, we're hitting convention season coming up. If you can find them, find them for cheap. Definitely pick them up. And like Jack said, we're going to have a series of these videos for Morbius all the way leading up to the movie premiere. So be on the lookout for that. And if you haven't, make sure you consider subscribing and hit that bell notification so when those videos drop, you will get notified. This is Brian Jack from Superman's Comics, and we'll see you in the next video. Sleep.